Hey Pisces! Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and it's 5 in the morning so I'm a little sleepy. I find the best readings happen in this like state of not quite awake but not quite asleep, right? So I think this is going to be a very powerful one. Uh, make yourself comfy, get yourself something to drink if you like. This is going to be a general timeless reading for Pisces. And before we even start, I just want to thank you for being here. Thank you for clicking on this video. I don't take your presence here for granted. I really, really appreciate it. Universe, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces at this time. I see Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What is it that Pisces needs to know right now? What is it that Pisces needs to know right now? You guys, the product of the week for this week ahead is the Manifest Money, Success, and Recognition Subconscious Reprogramming Audio narrated by me, created and designed by me, <laughs> with a lot of different techniques that I have picked up along the way. Um, and it's a very, very powerful way to hack your subconscious, especially if you are, you know, maybe busy or you, you're not really kind of like uh, available for a great like healing session. And maybe you don't want to do a bunch of spells. Maybe you don't want to dedicate that much time. Um, this one you play while you sleep, so it's very practical in that sense. All you have to do is like lower that volume and leave it on a loop <laughs> while you sleep. Give it a week and you're gonna see the powerful changes uh, that it brings to you. It's only 12 bucks. If you find my voice relaxing, definitely recommend it. If you find my voice annoying for whatever reason, then I don't recommend it because <laughs> it's me basically saying uh, specifically coordinated affirmations in a specific order that kind of like hacks your brain. All right. Having that said, let's begin Pisces. I'm taking the cards upright specifically for this one. All right, so the first card that we got here, Three of Cups. I'm gonna be pulling maybe two cards per every position. And we got the Nine of Cups. So a lot of feminine energy, lots of emotion here as well, intuition. Um, this is an emphasis on connecting to yourself through connecting with others. Some of you have spent some time in isolation, separate, being a little hermity, <laughs> and Spirit is saying here there is a lot of beauty to be found in connections to others. Granted, you have experiences in the past that have been not so sweet um, when opening your heart to other people, but Spirit is saying you are safe from that now. Not only have you developed your judgment in order to see through people, uh, but also, they don't want your spirit guides. It's like they don't want you to miss out on all of the beauty that exists in connecting to others because of playing it safe, because of wanting to protect your heart or wanting to, you know, distance yourself just to be more in control of your emotions. And they're telling you here there's a lot of beauty and there's a lot that not only you can receive, but that you can give through connecting to others. Beautiful things that you can give from yourself. Beautiful gifts that you have that are meant to be shared, Pisces. So yeah, some of you have gone through difficult endings, difficult moments of heartache that blocked you in a way. It may have made you feel very scared of opening up. It may have, you know, those moments may may have like left you feeling like you're incapable of um, stepping into emotional vulnerability. Like you're incapable of trusting other people, letting them in. Some of you are maybe not yet ready 
to get out of that healing space, that cocoon, right? And, you know, welcome others into your life, into your inner circle, into your mind space, into your heart, just yet. But Spirit is just stopping by to basically remind you um, that there's a lot to gain from connections to others. It is not just dangerous, you know? And granted, when we have very difficult experiences, very visceral emotional experiences, it lives it leaves like an imprint and it's hard to shake it off, you know? It's, it's intense and it lingers. But Spirit is saying, Remember that that's not all there is to it. We have the Nine of Pentacles showing up with the Ten of Swords as a challenge here. There is a possibility that you're not reaching your financial, material success. Because in a way, you're closed off to others. And... You know, maybe in your job, in your workspace, in your industry, in your business. You know, usually there are others. <laughs> usually there's either an audience or a client list or patients or, you know, usually you are, everyone is in connection to other people. And if your heart is in a way closed off, even if it doesn't appear to be the case to others, even if you hide it very well, if your heart is closed off, it's like you are repelling to a certain extent um, success in the physical. Why do I say this? The Nine of Pentacles is a card of luxury, of comfort, of having everything that you need. But next to the Ten of Swords, it's like you not being able to access that energy fully because you're still sort of grieving and it becomes almost like incompatible. Yeah, there was a big tower moment in the past, but key word, past. It is in the past. It's not in the present, it's not in the future. This is something that happened, something that you dealt with, something that you're still healing from, yes, but something that may, to a certain extent, always be there. And you can't let it hold you back forever. If you wait for there to be no sign of that tower moment in you, no imprint whatsoever at all, as if it never happened, you're probably going to be waiting forever. <laughs> These experiences, they impact us and they're intent. It's like, it's, in it's the point <laughs> for them to impact us and shift and change things within us. And this definitely did. But now, it's time to leave it behind. It's already behind. But it's like you're somehow like dragging it into the present and the future by fearing that it will repeat itself. Some of you have been holding yourself back. Maybe from making um, power moves, power decisions maybe from making um, a lot of money or taking on opportunities that can bring change. So some of you have been like, well, if I just sit here and breathe and do exactly what I'm doing and not um, rock the boat at all, then no more tower moments should arrive. <laughs> but Spirit is telling you here, one, you can't live your life just trying to avoid tower moments. Two, uh... Your intended, or it's like, more recommended, I guess, to be pulled by your dreams than to be pushed by your fears, if that makes sense. And three, if you choose to be paralyzed and just like sit here and breathe and not move and not change anything or shift or evolve in any way to prevent a tower, most likely you are creating a tower in and of itself because you are so stubbornly resisting the flow. So there is a level of trust in the divine. There is a level of trust in life and how it flows that they're just reminding you of.
I mean, that tower moment, whatever it represented for you, however it was delivered to you, that tower moment made you think. It, it really put things into perspective for you in the past. And I think that you already took the time to analyze the situation, to grieve it. You already took the time to learn from it, to get informed by it, to change things, to see the error in your ways. But once that is done, there is no more purpose for it. <laughs> it's, it's meant to be released and replaced with new things. Some of you have closed your heart completely or your wallets completely or your ambitions completely. In your mind space, you have the three of wands. And the king of cups. Yeah, some of you have been letting fear really have way too much of a say in your decisions. It's time to connect to that emotional maturity of yours and understand things for what you know they are. Complex, layered experiences. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for manifestations to come in. But you're holding yourself back from the actions that would make them come in. This is not the last tower moment you're going to have, Pisces. You will experience all sorts of change. All sorts of transformations. Some will be very rough. Others will be very smooth. <laughs> it's life. I see this illustration very interestingly. So if you're seeing it on YouTube, you can see it here. The fire is all the way down here. And these uh, branches, these wands, have been tied up to basically take that fire and become this huge bonfire. But the fire is still way too small. The person may be waiting for that to get all lit up and beautiful. And all it takes is for the person to make sure that this fire gets all the way here or here or somewhere that can actually, you know, get cut up. But they're not doing that. So I think they're going to stay there and wait for their ships to come in or for the fire to light everything up for quite some time, if not forever. <laughs> and Spirit is saying all you need to do is almost like close the distance between what could be and what is. Bring that fire to that three of wands, in this case. So maybe there's very little action, but very specific action that needs to happen for you to give that final step in reaching your goals, in reaching your dreams. And there is a possibility, Pisces, that you have been holding yourself back. That the world But that is coming to a close here, okay? I see that you are going to be wrapping up this process. I feel like for many of you, this, this particular reading can be actually one of the things that really make you somehow like snap out of it, which I'm very glad to see. We got the world and we got the Ten of Wands. So I see some of you, um, if you're feeling burdened, if you're feeling... Like, it's all just so much, way too much. If you have access to a hot shower, um, just going in there and just letting the steam and the hot water just fall over you and ask the spirit of the water to cleanse, to clear, to purify um, your energy, your thoughts, you know? That can be very helpful. That's what I'm seeing here in this Ten of Wands.
Also, like, bodies of water. If you can go to the ocean, to a pool, to a river. You know, if you can go to... If you can stand in the rain, oof, that would be so nice. Stand in the rain and let the rain clear away all those layers of funk that you don't exactly understand, but that are, that are there and you can feel them. This chapter is coming to an end. For sure. There is completion here and this tower moment is in the past. Don't give it permission to overwhelm your future. Don't give it a chance to be in your future in the first place and create burden for you. You have to continue living, Pisces. Healing is like washing the dishes. <laughs> You know, you can heal and heal and heal and heal until the sink is completely clear and there's no dishes. But what are you going to do? Starve? You're probably going to have to eat again. You're probably going to have to wash dishes again. <laughs> and so is life. You may heal so many things, especially when you're like in your spiritual awakening and, you know, you're starting to realize all the things that are fucked up in your childhood and all the things... You heal, 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 and it comes a time in which you're like, wow, I actually feel better. I do. But you can't just sit there in that forever and expect for good things to happen. You have to continue living. That's why you're here. That's why you're alive. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. The fact that you're alive means that there is a purpose for you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be. You are incarnate here for a reason. We have the Ace of Pentacles. As soon as you allow yourself to flow, as soon as you allow yourself to put this tower moment in the past for good, an idea is going to come your way. A brilliant idea, I may say, that is assured success. That is very prosperous for you. It's going to bring a lot of prosperity in the physical material world. It's going to be a new beginning in the physical. And this idea is coming to you. Maybe you've already had this idea. But it's going to be louder and louder the more you allow yourself to exist, to flow, to be in the possibilities. For some of you, it may have something to do with bees, with honey, literally honey, honey bees. For others of you, this could have to do with flowers. For others of you, this could have to do with makeup or jewelry or meditation or introspection of some sort. Page of Swords. Don't be afraid to learn the things that you don't know about. If you feel like this tower moment happened because of a lack of awareness or a lack of understanding of finances or money management or property development or whatever it may be, if you wanna feel safer moving forward, you don't need to, but if you want to, you can spend some time learning about these things, more time, reading, learning, expanding, and also learning about the possibilities of new things moving forward. There is someone here who's younger than you. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person needs you to be a good example for them. This person admires you, they respect you, they see you. Sometimes more than you see yourself. <laughs> And if you allow them to see that it's okay to fail and that it's okay to get back up on the horse and to move forward and be successful again, you're teaching them a very powerful lesson. It is said that the master has tried more times. No, what? The, the master has failed 
more times than the beginner has even tried. And that's what makes the difference between a master and a beginner. The master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. But in every one of those failures, there's so much knowledge, so much wisdom. To a point in which it becomes completely incomparable. And they're saying here, you know, you love this person. Let them see you succeed. Let them see that through what you're going through, they can succeed too. This could be a child, this could be a younger sibling, this could be a younger friend, this could be even a partner who's younger than you. But it's like, they need to see it. They need to see you rise. So they know that they can rise too. It's important. Right now, you're letting yourself be held back by fear. Some of you are aware of it. Others of you, were, you may even get kind of angry that I even suggest it. <laughs> but the devil card here representing you it's falling in the position of the reading that represent to you. Says that basically, you are right now your worst enemy and the thing holding you back from what you want. Maybe through sabotage, maybe through addiction, maybe through procrastination, maybe through conscious efforts, maybe through unconscious efforts, whatever it is, you're playing a part. You're not a victim and things are not happening to you. Things are happening for you. In what ways are you selling yourself short, Pisces? If you don't feel like you can do it for you, do it for them. For this younger person that needs to see someone they respect get back on the horse and win. Two of pentacles in the environment and as I say that in the timer of the video, two, 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 two. Two of pentacles. You have opportunities, you have options, Pisces. Sometimes you feel like your hands are tight and you feel like there is really no way out, that there is no way for you to get your success. But this is an illusion of the mind. With this Ten of Wands here, it's like you're gonna be as burdened as you allow yourself to be by the past. But you can also choose freedom from the past. And you can take all of the prices with you. By prices, I mean the wisdom, nuggets of wisdom, lessons, understandings, changes, maturity. You get to keep all of that. But if you want to release the weight of it all, you can. And for some of you, it has even manifested as physical weight. Maybe you have gained weight after a certain trauma, a certain loss, a certain experience here. Knight of Wands. I don't know, I feel like there is a particular value in, I don't know if this is just me, this could be maybe biased, I don't want to like taint the reading with my own thoughts, um, but I feel like there is a beauty to recovery, even if it's slow, you know, there is a beauty to things that take time to manifest putting one foot after the next after the next you know it's just like i don't know there's there's some beauty to things that require building that's what i'm trying to say and sometimes you may just want fast success you may just want everything to be instant but there's a beauty to things being more conscious and for there to be more time to be conscious as you create something. Granted, it doesn't have to take forever. <laughs> and it doesn't have to take long either. But instant things rarely provide 
a sense of awareness. Page of Pentacles. There could be someone in your life here. Uh, it could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Taurus. This person could be younger than you, or they could be more immature than you somehow. This person has never allowed themselves to dream. It's like, as a child, this person's hopes, dreams, um, fantasies were shut down quite fast. They never really got a chance to, as a child, dream of possibilities because they would just be smashed immediately <laughs> by family, by siblings. And you have this quality to you, Pisces. You're a dreamer. And many of the things that you have dreamt, that you have envisioned in your mind first, have come to be and exist in physical reality. This person, the, the inner child of this person, also needs to see you win. You know, maybe their adult is like, you know, yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense that Pisces... Pisces dreamt and failed you know they they fly too close to the sun and they got burned the adult in them may be saying that but the inner child in them is still kind of waiting waiting to see if the dreamer can win you know waiting to see and to be like ha you know i told you the the dreamer does win there's an air sign and there's an earth sign and they need to see you win. I mean, you don't have to win because of them. <laughs> you do you. But it's like, just know that there's a powerful positive influence in their most vulnerable selves if they see you win. It's like, I don't know, there's this divine justice to it all. A return of faith for them. I see like like younger siblings. People who you know maybe are not necessarily younger in age but younger in development or maturity. They, these people for each one of you is going to be something different. But it's like they need to see the underdog win. They need to see the different one win. They need to see the odd one out, the black sheep, I, I, I like to call the black sheep the psychedelic sheep, sheep. Um, but it's like they need to see that they can be who they are and win. And Pisces, you are who you are and you won. And you also lost something. But you also get to continue winning for the rest of your life <laughs> if you choose to. Right now you have been holding yourself back. Maybe you have been considering yourself capable of only lesser actions and therefore getting lesser results, as Brad Yates says. But if not for you, then do it for them. If not for you, adult, do it for your inner child. They need to see you win. Be that, like, poetic justice of it all, <laughs> you know? All right, Pisces, so that is the message that is coming in for this particular reading. I invite you to start your process of reprogramming your subconscious mind through the product of the week. Manifest Money Recognition and Success Subconscious Reprogramming Audio designed by moi. And, um... 12 bucks. It's only 12 bucks. You can get it this week. I will link it everywhere you can find it here in the video, especially the description box. And all you have to do is basically just say yes to pressing play every night. That's gonna be the only resistance to it, you know? And by lowering the volume until it's like almost incomprehensible, then it's gonna like really fly in there and start making changes for you. 
sometimes it's just easier to do it through the subconscious mind than through to penetrate the subconscious mind through the conscious mind you know what i mean like sometimes that is actually like rough it takes a lot of time but subconscious reprogramming is incredibly incredibly powerful in this case very affordable as well so i invite you to check it out again if you find my voice soothing and you feel like you can sleep to my voice then perfect if you find my voice annoying hey that's fine <laughs> Uh, just I don't recommend it because it's me narrating everything so you know the idea is for you to be able to be pleasantly guided to sleep and while you sleep just making powerful changes without you having to do any efforts right you know sometimes we put in so much effort in the conscious and at the end of the day the subconscious is more powerful like way more powerful than the conscious mind so let's just use the tools that we have and help ourselves in the ways that matter most. So I'm gonna leave that in the description box below. Remember, you can still book your personalized 2025 reading. Those are gonna be closing soon. We are already in November. And what this is, is a full reading specifically done for you, not for Pisces, just for you as a person. You get a PDF with all the references, for example, January, okay. So this is the video, you get to see the reading just like you're looking at this one. You get a reading about everything that's going to be happening in January, what the month is ideal for, it's not recommended for, um, the angel that is going to be the most present with you, the crystal that you can use. It's so fun. You get, you get so many references for every single month of 2025. So think about the power of having that ahead of time and being like, okay, I was planning on... I don't know, taking a vacation on March. But then I opened the file and there was such like an emphasis on like bad weather and me having a flu that I'm just gonna play it safe and maybe pass it to the next month. And just knowing those things can help you arrange your year for it to be the best it can be. We don't need more trouble. <laughs> we have plenty of trouble. Let's just make everything easier, Pisces. So you can book yours if you like. The link will also be in the description box below. I love you so much, Pisces. I hope this reading helped. If not for you, do it for them. For those inner childs that really need to see the underdog win. To see the psychedelic sheep win. <laughs> Alright, my loves. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.